Hey there gents and gents, it's Spazzy here, aka Syndrums, and welcome to episode 4 of our Let's Try series. Again, reminder, the purpose of the series is to upload the, and I quote, the first episode of various games that will run as candidates for the new Let's Play, once we finish the, you know, Avorian one. Uh, the way that this works is that once the last video will be uploaded, I will then wait for one week to allow everyone to catch up on all the episodes and choose two of the most upvoted episodes and continue them from where we left off during the pilot episode and make a new Let's Play series. So please vote for your favorite and suggest other potential games that I should try in the video comments. I do read them, but for now, welcome back to a game that I haven't touched in years. Terraria. So, what can I say? I've been waiting for this one for quite a while, especially when I got told that there is going to be a rather sizable expansion coming in for Terraria, which, uh, judging from the changelog, is quite big. Now, I've been thinking about how do I want to play this through, and, like, this is my first launch of the game since I've installed it. The only thing that I've touched here are the audio settings, and right now, I'm not really sure if the if even the world generation is still the same as it used to be back in the day. So, let's make a new player. Journey characters start with extra equipment, can only be played on Journey Worlds. Classic, uh, classic characters drop money on death, medium core, items on death, and hardcore die for good. Hmm... Journey is something that I'm not aware of, so... Enter character name. Let's call him Spazzy. Submit. And let's see what we can do. Oh, we can actually just... Can I just randomize, maybe? I always like the randomized characters. But, I guess if I have to choose... Hmm. Ah, yes. Let's become Dapper. You know what? I think I'm perfectly fine with this. So, Journey. In Select World, let's make a new world. So, the Tender Refuge... What is all of this? Journey. With great power comes great responsibility. Unearth your creativity. That rhymes, and also I have no clue what it actually means. Your adventure begins. So, does journey basically just mean sandbox? Far greater difficulty and loot. Huh. Well, this is going to be kind of interesting because I'm not exactly sure what, ex like, what... It, it doesn't actually tell me what Journey is, so let's go with a large map. Let's go with Journey. Let's go with Random. Hmm. Corruption or Crimson? Let's go with Random. Alright, so let's uh, quickly take a look what's happening here. So yeah, I remember playing Terraria shortly after it came out. I remember finishing it, but if you ask me any kind of details, I can only really remember some of the first bosses. I remember the big eye thing, I remember the uh, corruption one, you know, the big freaking centipede thing. I remember uh, battling the old man, for example. During the Blood Moon, zombies can open doors. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, I should probably be paying attention to the, t to the um, tips as this thing is currently doing its thing. If you like rockets, the cyborg may have some for sale. Rockets? Cyborg? What? Game, please. Alright, a uh, large world journey created. Let's go. Head in the clouds. 
What does that mean? Good question. Ah, uh, there is a bird on my head. I do not know how to feel about this. So it looks like we are actually starting off with additional things. Oh, there we go. Oh, Baby Finch. The Baby Finch will fight for you. Okay. That's interesting. Light Iron Short Sword. Forceful Iron Pickaxe. I need to remember how to... There we go. No. Inventory. Tab. No. E. Q. Z. X. Ah, C. There we go. What is this? Okay. Yeah, okay. So this is actually just sandbox mode. Okay. No, that's perfectly fine. But it's not really what I'm looking for for our um for our thing. So let's do this again. Let's call it Spuddy, and he is going to be a classic character, because we might as well. I'm going to actually choose, if I can find it anyway, the same everything. Yeah, there we go, classic character for the classic experience. Now then, uh, let's make a new one again. Large map, I would say let's go for classic for now, and we are once more going to go for the random choice when it comes to either corruption weather. In your inventory, you can press mouse 2 to equip items such as armor or accessory, uh, accessories directly to a usable slot. Okay. That is perfectly fine. You can check if a room is valid housing from the housing section of the in inventory menu. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, an existing feature. I remember that one. If you need to remove background walls, craft a hammer. You know, I'm gonna be crafting a hammer regardless. That is a very strange moon up there. Moons. The hollow is the only place where corruption and crimson can cannot spread. Oh, I think I stopped playing somewhere, like, once the hollow was introduced. You know, the nice place. I think I stopped playing Terraria somewhere around that part. Okay, let's do it. Ah, yes. Very good. I remember this place. This place is yes. And right now... So, C does not do anything anymore. Oh, you can actually aim your sword this time. I remember where you only um, aim to the sides. That's actually pretty neato. So, where is my inventory? Where's my inventory? So, I'm pressing C. Why isn't it doing anything? Hmm. Ah, yes. It's not kill stealing. It's not loot stealing. It's loot securing. Don't worry about it. So, oh, escape. Of course it's escape. How could I be so foolish? Alright, let's start with gathering some wood. For it is always gathering wood. There we go. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace these, uh, these spots right here. And when it comes to our first ever refuge, I think I'm going to make a treehouse. I keep pressing tab when I most obviously want to create 
things, and that requires me to press not tab. I need you gone, please. There we go. And there we go. You as well, please. Come on. I need to remember all of the input inputs. So this is where we're going to make the entrance. If I could. Okay, so I guess we're going to be making this a uh, little bit, um, shorter. I was never really a good builder in this game, so... You'll have to excuse some of the roughness of this whole situation. Lemon. Is that a balloon? I keep pressing the wrong thing. Consumable material will... Minor improvements to all stats when life gives you lemons. Ah, yes, you eat it. That sounded crunchy. I like that. So, here's an interesting thing. You cannot place... wood... as a continuation. That's kind of interesting, actually. So yeah, let's just very quickly make this place. I think it's going to have to be something like this. Like, if we want to get up there, it's just going to be hop, 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 up. And all is fine. No doors required. So, all I have to do right now is I just want to quickly make this little house of mine and not fall off the freaking thing. That is kind of part of the plan. Yeah, there we go. Except for now I can get inside. Don't worry about it. I'll make the roof a little bit later. Right now that's uh, not really a thing I need to do. And I keep pressing tab. Next up is the chair. And I get to make another chair just in case. Nice. Very nice. Now then, let's build all the torches we can. Because torches are good. Fishing pole. Um, we probably want a bow. Because a bow is always a good thing. We don't currently have the materials to craft the arrows, but we will in a, a while. We will soon. There we go. Right, and the last thing I want to do... Uh, yeah, sure. Let's have a campfire inside the building. Because that is obviously a very good idea. And let's just wall it off. That is, in fact, going to, you know, mark it as an actual house. That means it's going to be possible for this dude to come up here and not get eaten by zombies. Or so that's the idea, anyway. So yeah, once this is done, I will want to go exploring a little bit. Because exploring is good and highly, highly profitable. There we go. Let's just finish this up real quick. This is not what I wanted to do. Ooh, wow, 69. Nice. Still not 
really what I wanted to do, but hey, I need some wood. Let's quickly, quickly grab that. Oh, I remember Terraria being such a relaxing little game and such a stressful thing when when it came to playing with friends. Because we were uh, playing the, you know, the uh, mode where you actually drop items on death. And needless to say, we were... Um, we were prone of causing mischief. And having ha-ha fun with each other. In the sense that a lot of team kills were present in that moment. Anyway, let's see at the housing thing. Ah, oh, missing a light source, because apparently this thing does not constitute a light source. Okay, game. Uh, what about you? Okay, there we go. Right, everything's fine. Now then. What I really like to do is build a wooden chest, but apparently I'm missing something. So, yeah. And I think I'm going to just craft some armor just for the sake of having armor. Because you might as well, right? Okay. I think we are, in fact, ready. Oh, it's a tiki torch. Because apparently I crafted the wrong freaking thing. The sun is setting, by the way. Oh, I... I might have just accidentally the thing. But all is fine. Alright, let's go exploring. We still have some time to do that. I think the finch like the Finch hat, was supposed to be kind of like a protecting thing in, you know, build mode, because I'm pretty sure that was in fact build mode. Let me just... some day bloom, please. Oh yeah, it is, in fact... Wait, are we in the desert? Yes, yes we are. Um, uh, let's not do that just yet. I am going to very quickly take a look at what's around here. For it is always a good thing to do. And also, actually, I'm just going to grab some rock. Because being able to craft rock things is kind of a necessity in this game. At least early on in the game. Okay. And now, let's just get out of here. So, about those arrows. That was not an arrow, by the way. <laughs> no clue why I crafted those instead of actual arrows. Good. Okay, it is actually getting dark, so I think we are going to run right on back. For now, anyway. Get out of my face! Spazu is coming through. I like how they added the uh, grass moving as you go through them. I'm digging it. Click, 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 click. Click, click, click the game. I do want to plant this. Because day blooms are a good thing. So, the thing is, or at least one of the things are, I need more wood. I need more wood, so then I can create more ammo. And I need more ammo, because I'm going to be excessively rude to bad people in a moment. There's the bad people. Hmm. This thing is not dealing a lot of damage. 
I think we'll have to do something about that. Right. So, about those arrows. Oh wow, you can actually craft a lot of arrows now. What is that? Coins at... No. Where's my honey? Discover a large beehive deep in the jungle. Oh, achievements. Okay, I see. Alright. So right now, I actually want to farm these eyes a little bit, because... For those of you who have played Terraria before, you know that they drop lenses. And lenses are important for us. There's one. Good. Oh, those are some... Uh... I will definitely want that. <laughs> oh dear. I can I can hit them at the same time, so that's kind of good. So right now, I'm very interested in collecting these stars, for it's always stars as a... Yep. Let's not do that. Okay, I need to just make sure that we have light here. I might want to try to craft a better sword than this, because uh, one damage is, quite frankly, not a lot. Let's fix that if we can. Right. So, dirt wall, that is something that we don't need right now, no. Wooden sword, copper sword, 5 melee damage. 7 mil. What? 5? 7. How is a copper one worse than this? Sharp. Sharp wooden sword plus 14 knockback. Okay, let's try this thing. Oh, that's why. Because that's a short sword and this is a actual sword. Oh dear, that's not a lot of knockback. And it's also not facing the same place that I'm uh, looking at, so, well, where, where my mouse is, so that's kind of problematic. Now then. As for you, I do want to shoot you. And there we go, another lens. I don't remember how many lenses can I... Oh, wait, 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 that's that's what I need the guide for. Let's run this location for a little bit. Ah, yes, there we go. Another one landed back there, by the way. I'm going to really quickly take that as well. The stars is something we really need. So, I am going to be running around a lot and specifically trying to get them. Ow. I just jump straight underneath that dude. Ow. Still making the same mistake, by the way. And let's just make sure that this place is nice and uh, bright. Or at least brighter. There we go. It's easier to see the zombies that way. Oh, another lens. Very good. So I'm kind of wondering, how much does a hammer do? One. Not a whole lot, that's for sure. This thing does not have a lot of knockback. Oh dear, stop, stop jumping at me. Still can kind of hit them from behind, but eh. Okay, never mind. Give me by, <laughs> give me this thing back. I think it's gonna be much better in this uh, this particular situation right now. Oh. 
stab, 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 stab. I need to make a another one of these and see if I can get better stats with it. That is going to be one of the things we will have to do, yeah. I want to survive this uh, night so that we can kind of sprawl out a little bit. Usually what I do at the very start of the game, I, I kind of run from one side to the other and simply take a look at what's, like, what do we have where. We still haven't found the Corruption or the uh, Crimson because we don't yet know which part, like, which one the world generated would just now. I am going to take some of this, though. Oop. Stab, 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 stab. Yes, I, uh, by the way, yes, I can see the ore underneath. I'll grab that in just a moment. Right. There we go. Tin ore. This is gonna be fine. Maybe we don't actually need a new sword just yet. What is target prediction? Never heard of her. Okay, it looks like we are uh, slowly getting ready for a sunrise. Oh, stop jumping. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's that's not something. Ah, help. Yeesh. I'll have to be just a little bit... <laughs> we'll just need to be a little bit more uh, careful next time. Okay, let's start moving, because if there is any other uh, fallen stars, they will disappear on sunrise. And that would be... not good. I don't want to play with you. Leave. Make like a tree and leave. Ah, yes. I think we might have just found the... Corruption? No, this is, in fact, the, uh... The Crimson. I never knew the difference between the two, if I'm completely honest. I'm pretty sure that, technically speaking, the, um... Ah... Uh, well, this is slightly unfortunate. These things can... Frick right off. Please stay in your biome. They might have decreased their speed a little bit. I remember them being much more dangerous. Hey, we got some more tin ore. Okay, so let's continue with our exploration a little bit more. Looks like we have some more tin. Which is always an good thing. You know so, we have 12 fallen stars, which, we, which means that we can make these mana crystals. Hey, we got some mana. Good. Very, very good. And now I want to go that way. I have a feeling I'm not going to survive the... Like, I, I'm probably not going to survive the Crimson, because it's just been so long since i played this game, I don't know how to, you know, just casually walk through there. 
Although I have a feeling... Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. What am I saying? Of course I know. All I have to do is just make a lot of, you know, ledges and just close it up. Hello, Brazilian rainforest. How are you today? All is fine. See, I'm a good boy. I can replant trees. Hashtag make it green. Now, of course, I would miss that. Become deaded. Alright, so we have another jungle over there. Okay. If you do that, I'm not going to say no. Let's see how easily we can get through here. I kind of hate the jungle because of the ant lines. Let's go. Let's see. Wooden bow. Hm. That's a cactus. Do I... Do I get hurt? No. Never mind. Ah, yes. It's that asshole. <laughs> I can do it too. That was such a random freaking way to aim. And I still hit it. Shrooms. We need to get those shrooms. Alright, so. Let's see, that looks like a cave. A cave is something that I really, really want to come across soon. Hey! Hey! Got some shuriukens. That's always a good thing. Okay, let's take a look. What do we got? We probably don't need this. We can use this. 15 life. Oh, uh, sure. Lump. Let's just take that. And let's grab this tin ore as well. Right, so one thing we'll have to do is go back and uh, place all the necessary smelting items. Oh! Oh! That is a big chunk of tin. Though I don't remember how good is tin. Though the fact that it's so close to the... Wow, that is a lot. Sir, that is just a straight up chunk of tin. Good itself. Oh wow, what is that next to it? What is this? Uh, lead. Uh, is it time to make vine pots? Out of lead? That sounds like a thing we should do considering our current um, tech level. Were it the Greeks or the Romans? Don't really remember. They like to put their, um, lead into their drinks and serve them from, like, lead cups. Because it kind of, like, lead tastes sweet. That's the problem. What? Excuse me, what? Uh, I'll take a look at that in just a moment, but, uh, concern? Note to self, look up Mining Potion. The one that lets you kind of see ores from a distance. That would be really, really useful right now. So, I'm not... I'm still not really sure how good does Terraria translate to a Let's Play. Because a lot of Terraria is just this. Like, a lot of mining. Which, you know, to be fair, the same thing is the case with, say, Minecraft. But Minecraft is at least 3D. I'm not exactly sure how interesting might this be for you. Alright. What? What happened there? Uh... 
Uh, so that just happened. Not really sure why. Okay, so this wasn't actually a cave. More like a small little, you know, thing. Okay, good. Stay there, please. Right. Just gonna tunnel through here. It's gonna be kind of easier for us to do. Ow! Of course I would do that. Of course I would do that, he said for the th Oh, yes. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. Was this the tropical or was it the swamp? I don't remember the name of this biome, but yeah. Oh, hello there. Let me just make sure I'm not interrupted as I... What is this? Lead. Okay. Those are piranhas. Those are going to be troublematic to get through. Unless I just build a bridge. Building a bridge is usually the... What? That slime has a lot of... A lot of hit points. Also, slimes are really, really fast on water. Also, I... I need something with more range. Okay, let's try this again. Just all the wood platforms. There we go. Let's do it. Ow. Of course you would do that. Oh wow, that is a... Uh, that's a lot of damage and not a lot of damage on my side. You know what? You know what? Please... <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, you know what? I don't like it when there's enemies coming in from below, so I think I'm just going to do this. A bit of waste of wood, I know, but it's certainly going to be safer. But what is that? What is here? What is this? Oh, that's a bat. Ah, uh, Bats at this level? Or rather, at this... Uh, My current level is kind of bad. Jungle torch? What? Okay. Ooh, what is that? Jungle torch. Oh, okay, I see. Those are, um... Those are the jungle version of pots. Gotcha. Which is perfectly fine. What? How did you get here? This is bad. Ah, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Bad, bad. These things hurt. These things really, really hurt. Yeah, I want to get out of the swamp as soon as possible. Because these things can just... ...become... no. And there's not a lot of ways to run away from them. And that's Pinky. Uh, Pinky, stop. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Re... Should have known. Okay, the good thing is we only lost some, uh, you know, money. It's not like it's... I like this. Look at these leaves. They're becoming leaf. They're leafing. 
Well, since we're back here, we return to a... What is this? Topaz Gemcorn. Goggles. One defense. Equipable. Does this go into accessories, or...? No, it actually just straight up replaced the helmet. So that was a waste of lenses. Well, next time I'll know better. Right, so one thing is certain, I want more regular stone, because I need a furnace. And I actually see it right here. Let's just very quickly grab that. Let's keep on going. I don't think we have enough. There's a, It's only like 14 bits. So, uh, let's keep going. Hmm. This is going to be challenging to Let's Play because there's really not a lot to talk about during the non-hectic, non-battle moments. Know what I mean? Hmm. Maybe Terraria wasn't such a good idea. I don't know yet. Tell me guys what you think. That's kind of the point of these episodes. It's for you to kind of tell me which, uh, which uh, games you think would be interesting to watch, but at the same time, I'm using this chance to kind of see how easy would it be to Let's Play, how to talk over the game. And Terraria so far seems to be the most challenging, like all uh, out of all the games that I've tried so far. Is that Pinky again? Ow. Ow. Wait. What is this hitbox? Excuse me? Yeah, that's some... That's some interesting hit detection there, devs. Really appreciate it. Oh. No. Not the face. This is the Nomad in Invasion all over again. Oh dear. No. Why am I running into it? <laughs> Christ, I, I haven't played... Pretty in pink. Yeah, alright. Got a gold for that, though. That's neat. Right, let's return and see if we can craft that furnace. Just in time, actually. So let's take a look. Ah yes, furnace. Good. Place it here. You can smelt some ore. That's also good. Hey! Anvil. Oh wow, that was a lot of tin. Lead anvil. So why can't I craft it out, out of anything else? Okay, there we go. Alright. So... Let's just place our gold here, because that's the only thing we actually lose. Now then. So this lead anvil is definitely something we need. Can I place it here? No, apparently I cannot. Uh, what about... ...here instead? And we can move the campfire somewhere here, don't worry about it. Okay, so... What can I make? Okay, I'll need the chain. A 
empty bucket. A topaz staff. 50 magic damage uses 4 mana. How much do we have? Oh, 100. Ooh, this is interesting. This is definitely something I will want to try. Oh, wow, the quote reload on this thing is. Oh, I like this. I like this. It's only capable of hitting one per ball, though. So perhaps it's not as good. But it's definitely better than my current bow. So I appreciate that. We got a tin short sword. Which is 7 million damage and this is 5. Is it... Five melee damage, four. Minus one range. Wow, we need to replace that. Pointy pickaxe. See, I like that. There we go. And I'm just gonna bin this. Might as well. All right. So we actually just went through a lot of our tin just for crafting those items. I still want these. Okay. One problem here is that this thing does not really have a lot of knockback. There we go. Let's pick up those lenses. And actually, let's quickly take a look. Hey, dude man, bro. Uh, tell me real quick. Play some material here. Lenses. Right, so, here we go. Optic Staff. Soul of Light. Archery Potion Goggles. Okay, Suspicious Looking Eye. We need six lenses. That is going to be our goal. Let's just grab six of those. Which seems to be actually easier said than done. I need more eyes to spawn. Actually, no. Even better, I need more... Um... Yes, that. I need more that. Because right now we're actually using a lot of magic, because we're using a magic weapon. Oh, these things don't have drop. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Spawn. It says spawn, but what does it spawn? Wait, did it make... Let's go back. I want to see... Oh, no, 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 that's my spawn. That's what it meant. Like, that is the place that I respawn if I get killed. Okay, now it makes more sense. I was going to say, like, did they really add that I can see where the monsters spawn? No, no, of course not. Ah, yes. Hello. Give me your parts. Was that it? Do we have six? Yes, yes we do. What is that? Oh, ow. I, th I thought that was a pig for a moment there. There we go. 120. Good. We are ranking up. Although, apparently, I will need to, like, go to one of the altars to craft this thing. Which probably is for the best. Alright, ladies and gents. This is going to be the end point for this episode for now. I don't know. It might be an interesting Let's Play. I can only guess. The only thing is, um, I'm having some trouble trying to find something to talk about that isn't just my inner commentary of what I'm doing.
So, there's that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode.